I'm here with, uh, with, with Leighton Andrew, the Head of Sales for CQG in Asia Pacific. Leighton, um, thank you for talking to Automated Trader. Um, what, what, sort of, uh, what sort of growth are you seeing here in Asia? Well, at present, you know, the market's um, obviously showing a lot more potential than the, the western side of the world. Um, the credit crisis, you know, a lot more people have been down this side for, um, for growth, um, particularly in the emerging market side of things. Um, in Singapore, especially, um, a lot of the private trading houses are setting up, um, and the you know the increase of algo trading, um, proximity exchanges uh, is, is, is growing immensely here. Um, <coughs> a lot of the markets here aren't uh, haven't adapted to those principles of trading um, as quickly as I think people want them to, and that's where. The, the fixed protocol uh, has become, um, I guess, more used in this market than not, as an ex more of an accepted um, connectivity method. People are looking for proximity trading and therefore they want um, to be able to be next to the exchange. And a lot of the exchanges out here haven't really moved in that way of accepting, especially the Tokyo exchange, we're finding that they are changing their their, um, their ways of connection, and their regulations are being uh, over overridden now with, with new um, ways of connecting the market. CQG, for instance, we 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 run as a hosted gateway, um, and a lot of the exchanges have not adapted to that yet. But the changing um, quite uh, you know quite looking quite seriously at this now. Sure. Um, yeah. Okay, um, you mentioned Singapore, but um, we've also been seeing, um, and other people have been talking about a, a great deal of lift um, in the interest in, in algorithmic trading and specifically in systematic trading in Sydney. Are you getting, um, are you finding that there's there's much demand um, coming from the from the Australian market? You know, Australian market's a big market. Um, not well, it's a relatively small market, but in terms of the you know, the proprietary trading that's down there. There's a lot of proprietary trading houses down there, like Trans Market. Um, you know, some of the the, bro uh, the, the, the SFE's been now um, de sort of, de I guess, regulated in a way that any prop trader has to go into um, a proprietary trading division. Um, and in those uh, companies, they haven't really adapted um, algo trading as such. There's a lot of hedge funds that have are doing um, some of the algo trading down there. Sure. Um, now CQG also recently launched an API product. What sort of uptake are you seeing? Are you seeing of the API? Well, the API is a sort of a different part of the market. It allows people to trade uh, algo trade with uh, other applications um, via CQG's data feeds um, and connectivity to the market. So companies like Aparma. Um, you know, we have a relationship with them, and a lot of those, and uh, you know, people can uh, trade through those products using the API. The other element is that it's allowing um, other companies um, and banks to, to take direct feeds from us and uh, you know, program their own sort of black box trading as it is okay. throughout data. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Leighton, for taking the time to talk to Automated Trader.